We should be on uh, uh, part three now. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Don't ever touch me again, freak. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I feel like we've seen this already. I think it's we didn't see that part though. Tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here? I forgot we, we saved now, uh, I know today uh, was difficult Kate. for everybody. Miss Carter, Which is nice. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. To be honest with you, like if you're in the middle of like a sunny day and it starts snowing and then like an out of pocket eclipse happens, the world's ending. And then that's the best way to describe it, you know? Just just brace for impact, bro. You done good with Kate? I know, I know, I know. I take those moments. I take those moments and I, I'm proud, you know, you know, let's go. Let's go, dude. Easy, easy. <laughs> but no, I definitely I definitely feel like we could uh uh we could definitely set up for it. Oh, somebody I forgot again. Can somebody do the announcement that we're doing we switched over to Life is Strange? Did I set up the announcement? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. I completely forgot. Square Enix. Is it Enix or is it Enix? I think it's Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. I think Square Enix sounds better. I don't know. Random. Don't nod entertainment. I'm just narrating everything now. Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Kate! She had a dream. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of the campus. Get that ass in gear now. I knew Chloe, Chloe. would be all over this. So I better get moving. Dude, I like their dorms, by the way. Nice little pocket just for yourself. Kill them all. First off, thank you. Second of all, Capital D, Colin. Dude, kill them all. I'm trying to... I'm, listen, we're trying to keep people alive, bro. We're not trying to have a walking dead moment, all right? <laughs> this is this is the one where we, we heal people and we help people, not let people die. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, we actually, we actually did good so far. We're actually doing really good. Or is it not one of those games? I hope it's not one of those games. Because we've been keeping people alive so far uh, in this playthrough. It's a bit tough, too. Like, I'm glad I paid attention to some stuff here and there. Do we want to wander the plane again? First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. I know, right? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hero. You know what I'm saying? There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. I'm checking everything out, by the way. Here, nosh on this. 
Hook up the bunny, bro. The bunny, the homie. That's Bugs Bunny right there, dude. We didn't use a laptop Glad last the time. Glad doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. A student at the, at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today with the most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the student Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phone records... Uh, Cell phones record the event, which ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. That was us. Let's go. That was us, dude. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If That's she good. Does. When moments like this happen, when you have like a lot of negativity in your life, bro, having people uplift you, bro, is so important. Either I delete so you my have the right people in your, in your, in your, on your team, man. Nowhere to hide these days. Time is bunk. Max Power, watching you walk down uh, with Kate from that roof was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. You're a hero, Max. Thank you. You actually made me proud to be at Blackwell. Bravo, Max. Bravo. Eres una chica dura. <laughs> Wait, Eres? Oh, that's Daniel! Let's go. Hayden Jones, epic. Way to make the headlines, Max. Juliet. That's kind of nice. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. It's true. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Kind of true. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. True. Because we control it. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. But yo, Megan, thank you for the 20 buckaroos, dude. I really do appreciate it, man. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Gracias. I don't know why I did that, but gracias. You know, you know what I've been watching okay, lately? This is Never mind. Scary we'll talk dark. about it later. Let there be light. So much hypocrite. Yeah, that's also true too. But I mean, like, you know, don't don't take a bad thing down, you know what I mean? Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. No balls allowed. <laughs> I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Is Dana. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I don't want to say we're all responsible because I, yeah, your boy ain't do shit. First off, I was a nice guy out of everybody, you know. She was a de uh, she was depressed though. I think that's the truth. I knew she was depressed, but. I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Wow. I didn't want to, like, point fingers or whatever, this but it's kind of true. This is both sad and pathetic. Uh, we're going to have to click the read button. 
Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass favor. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know, Logan. Where's the money part coming from? What the fuck? That sounds weird. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey, Dana, I've been thinking about you all day, and I know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish you had more friends like you. Well, that's, that's really nice. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up, and I'm always here for you. I miss you, Trev. Yeah, we snooping, bro. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're okay after uh, doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I want to know if you can answer just a few short questions. That's not good. Seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Monka W, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to push that. I think that's it. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Should we? I mean, like, you know, why not, dude? She fucked with our shit before. Fuck her. Actually, low key. She can eat my ass, dude. I don't like. I don't like Victoria. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, these socks cost more than my wardrobe. Damn. That's how you know you broke, broke. It's probably true too. There's probably somebody's socks that's more bigger than my wardrobe too. Assholes. So for this, this is priceless. I love this shit, dude. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. I'll title this okay. one Portrait de la Assholes. I think we'll stop with that one. Um Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Damn, we're looking through That's everything. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Okay. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show. I've never seen the campus so quiet. It's like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. What a trip today that was today. Uh, seeing Max and Kate like that, I need a drink too. Let me know the time, XO, oh, sweet tea. Eh, having remorse, I guess, is good. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Should take it and post it still. Fuck her. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Okay. I feel like that's it? Question mark? So we did the desk. <sighs> Nothing to see here. Those boots are made for walking runways. We did the bag. We did this. Photos. I think we're done. Let's go. It's Brooke. Away for Kate. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, is that not how we get out? Oh no, we're on the we're on the wrong side. Okay, we gotta go the other way. Lol. Incredible. 
Taylor is utterly shameless. Shameless. Can't complain about that, though, personally speaking. Like, I don't care if it's, like, hypocritical or, or, or not. Uh, it's nice to see people uh, put that out there, you know? A little bit of Evergo smiles. I don't fucking know. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. I definitely feel like, uh... Principal ah. Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if wait, wait, he sees no. me. Why not? Stop it! <sighs> Max? So I need to rest my cake tonight. Anything else to spin it too, so that was a good day. Call you later, okay? Yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you are today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the, la on the last 3D printer. Yo, that's lit! You can totally earn dinner on me along with our skate to Planet of the Apes. Call me. Hey, horror feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Who the fuck is that? Thanks for letting me gush over Black. Our. Our, uh. Hold on. We're so proud of you for saving this girl. Wait, 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 wait. How many forget to pull out water the plant we gave you, but don't let Johnny there. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Uh, we are so proud of you for saving this grail. We want you to know how you are. We want to know how you are, so please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes, I swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway. Okay? We love you. That's cool. The mom... Yo, our family... Like, like her family is pretty lit, dude. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Max the Ninja strikes again. Is he like drunk or some shit? What the fuck? Yeah. He drunk drunk. Booyah! Oh shit, she scared me. <laughs> oh Get it? God, dude. Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You goddamn you right. obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Fuck him. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. I think we need to find out with Rachel. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is I feel like Rachel's the key. The truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... 
kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. That's fair. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. What a bitch. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... That's what your dumb ass get. Are you fucking kidding me? No, bitch. Go to sleep. I hate her. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that character. Ooh, they made a really good design of her being a bitch, bro. I'm not gonna lie, dude. It's so stupid. Just being honest. Me, Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Go Bigfoot. Ooh, I'd be so pissed, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd be, I'd be oh, hella pissed. Master. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We get charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Mmm... Before we do anything, I feel like I should be, uh... No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. I need to be thorough. I feel like this could lead to some uh, momentous moments. Whatever they call it. Max bragging about saving Kate? More like it's everybody else kind of bragging. She feels like she didn't really do anything, to be honest with you. Well, at least that's the way, the way her uh, be demeanor is. She's like, I feel like I kind of did it on my own, but at the same time... I mean, she knows she did. Let's be real. But, like, at the same time, she also felt like she didn't really do much and contributed. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Welcome back, Dodie. All right, let's go. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. 
Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. Here's the breaking part. I might part. as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. If that's the secretary, then she might have a spare key. That's what I'm thinking right off the rip. But, clockwise, let's go up. Nothing here. Okay. Dead end. Okay. Boring. Okay. Are we going to go for four, dude? Come on now. Crap. Zero four, all right. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> So you got bathrooms, you got a hunting hat. It's kind of weird. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Bruh, you sound so Thanks, guilty. Guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Bro, I feel like he getting used. He's getting used hard. Like, Warren, Warren's ass. our bitch, bro. Let's God be real. Door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Science. Sugar. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. I know who Lupin is, dude. I get that reference. Huh. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. What is, what is Samuel is a squirrel, dude? Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. I think we gotta go this way, and then it's gonna be to the left, if I remember correct if I remember correctly. Uh, well, let's look at the uh, text message again real quick. Uh... Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. Here's how you do it. Bro, what the fuck? One is... Then there's two. And then, so let me clear, what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So you're really gonna try this? Keyword is try, body of wisdom. It's a trash can earlier, watch, we're gonna find a soda can. No can here. Damn. Never mind. Nope. Doesn't anybody drink sodas here? No. Nothing here. Gross. Building a bomb is probably TOS too. Monk could die, dude. Oh no. It's a fictional one, right? It doesn't it doesn't really work that way, you know? We're, we're gonna believe it doesn't at least. Don't do this at home, kids. Disclaimer. Science class. For science. Is it a bomb though? Or are they Gross. doing some I hate that formalin smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Ooh, sugar. We got the sugar. What else do we need? Soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Okay. Only three more items to go. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. 
You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Okay. I never said they were great, troll. Who writes shit like that, though? Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Where will we find duct tape and what, uh, whatchamacallit? So I feel like the weed killer would be a good place to find... Oh, it's right there. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Okay. Alright, so we got that. You're halfway home, Max. So duct tape, what that that's next? You still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still here, didn't blow up yet, not yet. Need to concentrate now, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Where will we find duct tape at? That's the question. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but Every little grade counts. Oh, that's a way of hooking them up. Let's go, baby. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. You know, why do we fart? A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. All right, here we go. Unless there's more in there, we're gonna have to come back later on, I think. Kate's locker. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Gas from digestion, gotta go somewhere. True. Oh, there's a can right here. Let's go. Okay, I have the can. Last thing we need is duct tape. Only one more ingredient left. Art class? There's no way it would be an art class, would it? It's possible. This is like a scene in a horror film. True. Also weird that you said that. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? All right, don't, don't become a fan. We don't like it that much. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. So, yeah, duct tape? Oh, there we go. The tape is mine. Let's go! Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Okay, now that we did that, uh, I wonder what this says. I need to set the bomb up on the door. Are they gonna make us like check to, to do this properly? Cause I'm not gonna fucking remember this shit, dude. Okay. Let's just get back to uh, Chloe. Can you imagine how much trouble we would get if we did this shit, though? Oh, my God. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. 
I wouldn't be in the same room, bro. I would. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Let's go. What the fuck you mean? Might as well commit, you know what I'm saying? Hustle. Whatever we reverse time, though. can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit! Fuck you, door! I that Welcome too. to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the Massive principal brain locks meat. this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Life is indeed strange, true gnome. What's up, man? How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. That is actually a nice desk, rude lady. I like his chair too. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Your boy got that Mwah! taste. Va bene. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Start from door clockwise. I just wanted to see if you knew you're exposed to see incredible artwork. I certainly can't use this. Okay, there's someone else there. Search Kate's file. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. As a present, at present time, there's a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex party that was been uploaded to the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Uh, she represents the very basis that her GPA is consistently outstanding. Mm, her knowledge on KBA, too. She's also one of the best attendants in there at the school. As a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates. As is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Parenti. Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. I moved like nowhere, by the way. <laughs> Tumbleweeds. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Okay. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss uh, Miss Grant, as Principal Blackwell, it is my happy, glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to regret the plan. It is not my policy to take. 
This guy's hammering his ass cheeks. Okay, uh, let's see. It is not it is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best, Principal Wells. I had one job and it made a misspelling mistake. Pepe hands through true. <laughs> Okay. Student files. There's got to be something here. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. All right. Let's see. Overall, nothing crazy. Uh, Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a very a variety of extracurricular activities, including work from the with the Arcadia Homeless Fund. Blah, blah, blah. It's also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. She refers to the college considered, her name is Maxine, by the way, uh, is considered a quite attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged that she should be doing better. Her teachers back her up quiet, back up her quiet intelligence. I wonder if people actually really do this. Like, do schools actually have, like, files on a student? That's kind of weird. Uh, her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best by stopping fellow student K much from jumping into the ball. At this time, there's an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. You goddamn right! This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Gold standard for a student consistently high GPA credit to his reflection has also received high marks from a faculty for a devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Bible Spare. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Nosy? He got he got he got big brain though. Look at that motherfucker, dude. Alright, Warren is considered a exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in school in science at Blackwell. He has the gift of cur uh, uh, or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision, his academic vision, and continues towards his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Your school does, so you have a file on you, Monka W. Dude. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Oh, this is an important. There's not one. much here about the police investigation. Unfortunately, Rachel, uh, Rachel Amber has uh, stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her ac academic excellence. Rachel Amber is a quintessential student representing representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion mo uh, modeling. International law, huh? There's no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as a f as the fulcrum. Uh, let's see, Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rosie. I want to let you know that Rachel's a Rachel Embers eventually has been officially closed by on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We'll always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Rosie. Okay. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. It's a problem with your child. This, she, she's big dumb, too. Uh, this little homie's often willing to uh, will, willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous uh, class disruption with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She's recently suspended for spray graf uh, painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe's an intelligent student for, with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. And, of course, she got suspended. That's it. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. 
It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. Oh, shit. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> That's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should she definitely take the chair? get out of here. We share. pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Oh, I don't like this choice. Wait, who is it going to? What was it designated, uh, designated for? It's for the handicapped? That's fucked. That's fucked up if we steal the money, bro. You think I should steal? No, man. Why? Why should I steal? I mean, like, what if somebody, like, handicapped needs that money? That's funding for the handicapped team, bro. I think. I can't even go back in time to remember what they said. I think I think she said it was for the handicap. Like, it was handicap funding, right? $5,000 is really going to change things, though? So just steal? Y'all so bad, bro. What the fuck? I thought, yo, y'all got to behave yourselves. What do you mean, dude? Just take the 5K. It's not going to Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If I had 5k, I could do some amazing things. I'm not even trying. I'm not even trolling. You give me a $5,000 budget, I can make some real cool shit happen. And that's that's just 5k. So you give me a grand, I can make some I can make some magic happen, you know what I'm saying? All right, most of y'all pick most of y'all pick steel. So we're going to steal the money, but it's on y'all. It's not on me this time. It's on y'all. Y'all pick steel. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid. Right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, Still and strip clubs. Shut up. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. See, when she says shit like that, bro, that makes me feel bad, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like... Y'all picked. That's all I'm saying. Y'all picked. Y'all picked. Y'all picked. It's not on me. <laughs> that impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. You listen to us? You listen. Don't people leave, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. I got to change those emotes, by the way. To, the, to their normal one, because Christmas is over, you know? We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. 
Chloe is so psyched for girls night out, so I better follow her evil plan. That is such a strong word, my dog. We ain't gotta do nothing we don't want to do, you know what I'm saying? I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Go Otters. I didn't get a choice to pick, too, if we could do this or not, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of unfortunate. Get the locker room. The locker room. I feel like we're gonna have to go in there. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I have a feeling y'all gonna get caught. Probably. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. I need this for class, and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. Rip. So I will pay a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any ideas or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now, please. Who? I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Where does that other sock go? Wait, what? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Nancy drew the missing cat picture. <laughs> Pictures, why I'd be quite happy with them, dude. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. She said musky. The wit, it burns. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Wow. A level of restraint there. You saw that? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Wait, where's my locker at, though? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. We already looked at Brooks Locker, right? So I think that's it. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Sorry, Rachel. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. I hope so, friend. Well, we care, dickhead. Damn, that's fucked up. Okay. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Wow. Now I have the power over light and death. So, the big plan is... Win. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. I want to find something secret, dude. There's got to be something I'm missing, you know what I'm saying? Do we need to switch on the light, though? Like, I think the whole part about this is, like, being secretive, right? Chloe just couldn't wait to splish-splash in the pool. 
Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! Fine. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. You missed the men's locker room? Oh shit, okay. Clug, go clug in the, you know, the, the one. Okay. She got no booty though, bro. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Time to do or dive, Max. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Dana needs a baby daddy. Trip. Let me stop. Uh, look at that face. <laughs> That's pretty good. Victoria loves the D. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Max is a feminazi. What the fuck? Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. I'm stuck. I probably should be over there swimming, but like, yo, is this a dude's locker? I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you, love Logan. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Wait, is this the dude's lockers? Sometimes. No worries, it's all bad. That's fucked up. Some poor hipster lost their vape. This is the dude's locker. Oh, shit. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? What if Betty I Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Because he like you, dog. What do you mean, why? You stupid. This must be for training kids. I didn't know we snuck into the sex me up. Boys locker room is right. I didn't know we actually went into the, the boys locker. I didn't think about that. I was just running around looking at shit, you know what I'm saying? Bros will be bros. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. Jesus Christ. Which is cool. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Did you hear that music in the background too? That's pretty nice. Look, man, I'm uncovering all secrets before we go anywhere else. No, guest list is gone. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. I think I think we, we don't remove our names. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. That's gonna be important for us to find clues, decisions, I think. Decisions, decisions. I feel like that's gonna be really huge for us. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna erase my name off. I mean what what's what's the big deal even if we didn't though, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like come on. Better to need uh have and not need than need to not have, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Is it, is it just me or do like the graphics like take it up a notch for some Cowbunga. reason? Cowbunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. 
With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related, and I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing little... everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had... When I start watching? Uh, it's called Life is Strange. Kate didn't jump, but you would be... dead. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? When did we discover our power? Oh yeah, when she got shot. That's right. Sure. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. This is getting I hope like so. super like, you know. Stop being so goddamn a weird humble. vibe. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel. Now Amber. <laughs> Dude, I'm not her <laughs> groupie, <stop>. okay? <laughs> and I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. I'm not saying gross, because we, we we Warren's a nice guy. Uh I'll just say Warren's nice. Warren is Nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. It's weird. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Nah, I feel like this is a bad spot to go. Move, what? Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! Make sure you cover the whole grave. Are you shitting me? God damn it. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Ah, oh, shit. Let's rewind time. I think what I'm gonna do here is where are they? Oh, shit. Oh. Hello. Let's see what happens. He's not gonna check over on this side, right? I thought that he would. That would be my gut response. Hello. Anybody there? Not oh, man, we chilling. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Let's go. We are so invisible. That was too easy. That was way too easy. Way too easy, bro. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have. 
have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car! Like, that's like yes, drawing attention to yourself. Are. That's like so stupid, bro. I would have just cruised out of there. Like, you know, I'm just chilling, bro. You know? I feel like the dad's gonna the dad's gonna 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 be a problem here. Some bullshit about to happen. Watch. I'm calling it now. Dad by the way can be like, what the fuck you doing? Let's see. Let's find out if they got something though. I don't know. I don't know what to expect to be honest with you. Oh no, nothing happened. Okay. That's weird. That guy looks like he's from uh, Willy Wonka. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. That's weird. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. So like, what if we don't get up the entire time? <laughs> keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights on. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to Should ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Black World Channel. Game just ends here? Oh, okay. Today the gym, hey, nice, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. How iconic is that? Just let her go, and then at the bottom right now it says, I can't. Mm. How interesting. Looks like I don't know if they're gonna say anything else, so we're gonna wait for a second here. No, you have a heavy heart. Should I, I get up? Feel it when we kiss. Suck it. So many men so this stronger more. than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Okay, I need to get dressed now. 
I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover just boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? No, uh, not, not you 1.7 GPA. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Monka W. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. At least we haven't could have been your fight. picture there. Oh, yeah. Well, shit. Incident: Police and fire departments responded to a break in vandalism on the Blackwall Academy campus around 1:30 a.m. Police have not stated if they found any suspects yet. Incident: Police arrested a nude man with a sword <laughs> at Up All Night Donuts off Beck and Pack. <laughs> Road at approximately 8:52. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He's being held without bail until any further investigation. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in a stable condition under supervision at Arcadia Bay Med Center. No, no other information at this time. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. A burger's condom. Don't be a dummy, cover your willy. <laughs> Why would she have that though? It better to be, you know, protective period, I guess. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. Somehow. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. I don't think, I think that's the only thing. Uh, that's the only reason why we didn't get that part. Uh, on her phone. It's probably because we didn't jump out. But I felt like that, like, I felt like we were going to be here again, which, go figure. And, um, uh, I felt like, uh, Ugh. still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Morning looks um, okay. And there's going to be a reason why I don't know. Cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances. Whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now.
We skipping the homie phase, bro? Is that, is that what she trying to do? The bitch, say less, bro. You know, well, let's go. Easy, Cloud, dude. Mama ain't raised no chicken. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Hey, don't threaten me with a good time, motherfucker. Listen, oh, listen. Man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Eh, fuck it. We'll, we'll stay with that. Actually, what, would it matter if we didn't? I want to see what happens if we don't. I want to see what happens if we don't. Okay. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. Nah, we I kiss it. We kissing it. So I like the other one better. Like I said, my man raised no quitter. Okay. And she double dated us, you know what I mean? Come on, bro. Damn. She know better. Alright, let's go. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Nah. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Let's see. Thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry. I need a friend. You were there as usual. Excellent. Okay. Thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You are the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can. Promise. Oh. Pagoli, dude. To get downstairs to eat breakfast. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We're kicking butt right now, though, to be honest with you. What's up, Kay? How you doing, dude? Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Where well, we gotta go? People poo poo, dude. I hope taking these pictures is worth it. Low-key. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Uh, I don't know about that. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. I mean, we gotta keep clean, though, you know what I'm saying? Also, Katina, though. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. I think that's it, right? Let's double check and make sure there's nothing else over here we gotta do. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go. I think so far so good, though. I think, I, I, I think I'm happy with my choices so far. This might be the one time these people are right. So number two, how long you played? This is my, uh, what's about like an hour, maybe? This is episode three of season one. Uh, and this is my first time playing. Just to get context. Let's see if 
there's nothing here to react. I think once we once we talk to her, it's gonna trigger something. So I kind of wanna take a minute. Oh, we what? Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. I wonder how these birds died. Uh, we didn't save him last episode. Or, uh, the first episode. There's multiple birds being dead. What the fuck? Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. I know, right? Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. I watched the first play, missed the second one. Okay, so the only thing you missed in the second one was that we, uh, we saved Kate. That was the big thing, I think. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. Is that even possible? Yeah, it is. Don't I always question. got scared and would jump off before I flew off. Okay, let's go back in. I don't think there's anything else we have to do at the moment here. So that's where the dead birds were, or the bird that we could have saved was. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Flash now, freak, uh, eclipse, apocalypse, in question mark. Superheroine saves suicidal Blackwater, uh, Blackwell still a student. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Wowza, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. If it ain't broke, you know? Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys right now. If we gotta choose between ba uh, pancakes or eggs and bacon, eggs and bacon, dude. <laughs> eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs okay. always come first, as Joyce used to say. Okay, okay, okay. I'll agree on this one, dude. Come on, bro. Eggs and bacon I over, over pancakes any day. Vegan, but waffles, <sighs> eggs, and pancakes? No, I think it's eggs, waffle, ba uh, pancakes, bro. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or... Wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Oh, Damn wow. It. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. Five years actually does feel like Tell a long time. Shoot, back. last year it's feels like such a long time that, ago. Joyce. Voila, it's crazy. A breakfast fit for us queens. 
and a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Do I want to change any of my questions? I, th I think we will. I think we can't. Never mind. Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Shit, let's eat, bro. What do you mean, dude? And hey, we trying to stay healthy. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. True. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Are we done? I guess that's it, huh? Seeing oh, you there again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Hey! Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. That sucks, dude. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Okay. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. It's too obvious. Okay. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Nothing in it. 7171's the, uh, the password, right? Possibly. Nothing to see here. Oh. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Close so happy uh you were born today. 
Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, stepdad. Oh, that sucks, dude. That makes me... That makes me feel bad, dude. Because, like, I, like, you know, we've been kind of a douche to him, dude. We don't know. You know what I mean? Stepdad, uh, and then 7171. I feel like 7171 might have more importance, though. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? A veteran's guide. Coming back home. I can only imagine the amount of uh, BS people go through in the military and then, you know, they have to kind of reacclimate themselves with, like, being normal. I could try the license number for the password. Nah. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Nice garage, though. True. <sighs> Try again. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Cap. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Cap. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so it's not personal. It has to be family related then. Um, stepdad. Such wrong. No I didn't way. think so either. Laptop. I wonder what the significance of the, uh... Family. 07, 2007. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally flip top. Could be Arcadia Bay. Could be. I think we need to look for more clues, though. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Dallas Deer Hunter. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. 607 survey company to... To a real life hero. 607. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gen uh, gentlemen still exist. Love to talk with you again soon. Talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you, if you got smiley face. That might be a useful password. N2708, eggs and sausage, toast, coffee. Might make a good taste. I think that would be a good, uh... Uh, a good one to use, personally speaking. But I think we got other choices now, right? So Army has Keep Your Wings Up, Survey Company. I think I'm going to go with uh, Family and then that one. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet again. Once again, Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Why though? 
Uh, 18 was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This is reported by David Matson, head of campus security, who witnessed her, witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious metal, medical bag. This officer was called in for question, to question Ms. Uh, Ms. Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Uh, Kate and follow the same path to every class. Over her Kate and Dana W. Talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs? Watch Kate with her church group. Uh, she knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> Kate has kept herself uh, to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even churches. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. How does he have all this, dude? Uh, Max is online aliases. He has Mad Max, Max Factor, Nor Angel. Uh, has our schedule. Like, oh, that's fucking weird, bro. I better tell Chloe about this now. Uh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. I want to know what's in those things, bro. I should have looked earlier. Uh, hey, Max, just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. We all saw how much you cared about Kate when nobody else did. Who is this? Thanks, Taylor. I know you care, too. Okay, never mind. If you're going to the party, I'd love to style you up if you want. Uh, if I do go, I would love to get a Taylor makeover. Talk soon. X -A -X -O -Max -O. That's weird. Who was that? Taylor? Nani? Taylor cares about her mom. Drugs? I know, right? That's how it feels, bro. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. Oh, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Fuck. Of course we side with Chloe, right? She's, she's kind of like the homie, right? On the same note, too, with what we found with David, that doesn't make him a criminal. I mean, it's a little excessive. Yeah, maybe he should be told to ring it back in, right? But at the same time, too, he ain't a bad person, you know? Like, he, he's not one that you want to, like, you know, throw in the gutter, per se. Now, did some of his actions have consequences related to him? Of course, you know? I mean, I kind of like, I'm upside with Chloe on this one, guys. I think this is a no-brainer. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal! So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. 
Women always stick together. Well, screw you! David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home! It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I want to see what happens if we go the other route. That's the story of Life is Strange, man. Alright, let's, let's get forward a little bit, though. Do you... Don't st uh, Let's do it. Listen! We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. That'd give me shit. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I feel like I feel like I. Oh. I don't know how any of our choices are gonna line up with this one, man. So here's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, Chloe, we have had choices to stick with her or not to stick with her. That's one. Uh, David, there's been plenty of times where we could have like not been aggressive with him, but also, you know, uh, kind of taking a side in a sense, I guess. I don't know how you describe that. I think by both of these choices that I'm making to be neglectful or unsupportive or the, the inverse of those uh, is going to lead to something monumental in the later portion of this game. So my question is, by not siding with Chloe a lot, my only rebound is that we saved her life twice, which means that she cannot really talk shit because we could have let her ass die. That is my saving grace to siding with David so that we can kind of ignore that little aspect of it, which means this will hopefully give us leeway to maybe working something out with David if something bad happens in the future. That's what I'm thinking right now. What do you guys think? Should I should I should I still stick with Chloe's side or should I stay with uh, should I stay with uh, David's side? That's the question. I don't know. I honestly do not know. Man, it's tough. What are the cons? I stay with Chloe. Something happens where David could be pivotal for us, and then boom, bad stuff happens. Because we didn't side with him. On the inverse side, we don't side with, side with Chloe, and then some bullshit happens. And Chloe doesn't help us out. Which would be kind of fucked up considering that we did save her life, you know? That would be my question for you guys. Should should I should I stay with... Should I stay with... Uh, should I stay with uh, Chloe or should I stick with... Uh, with what's his name? David. I feel like the, the, uh, the, the, res the, the response we got from David leads me to wanting to... Uh, not side with David. Because it didn't help me at all. I think you gotta support the homie even if they're wrong. Oh. I 
I just want the best outcome. That's all I'm gonna say. I just want the best outcome for the team. You know what I'm saying? This is tough, dude. A bull I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. Oh, You've that hurt hurts me and my me. family enough. I gotta see something else out too. Hold on. I, I gotta see one more thing. I gotta see one more thing. I gotta see one more thing. God, this choice right here? This choice right here is kind of fucking me up right now. I feel like this is a very important moment right here. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David and our family, even if Chloe doesn't. I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna stick with. Let's go talk to her. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think here. Hold on. If we don't, if we don't do this, and we talk to her. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Yep. Man, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I think we stick with the David choice. My gut's telling me to stick with the David choice. Only for there's one specific reason. I know she's gonna be mad at me. She'll get over it. But like something tells me not not to stick with the, the David choice, dude. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Oh boy. What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Locked. <sighs> Damn, there has to be food for I you. I hope somewhere. she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. What is going on here? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals. This is so creepy. Damn, I did. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud for you saying that, girl. As am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded that we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof of that girl. If you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, pop. Uh, thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind over uh, here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Maxo. XO. Whirlwind. Interesting choice of words. 
by the way, the job is actually super popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Okay. That's weird. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Um... You don't think it could be, like, climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Let's go back. I want to ask the other question. Good morning. Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Huh. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get his both tickets. I had to fight a dozen bullies off for him, though. Freaking nerds. Okay, dude. Now you lying. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. I don't see how that's gonna help. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those bees! <laughs> In the spirit of not wanting to miss things, there are some possible expiration outside. Okay. <coughs> okay. Then I will take your word for it and I'll look a little bit harder. But I didn't see anything else when I looked. I think I didn't look too hard, you know? That's what it is. It's a chucker. Okay, Kona, brother. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh. Oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Huh. 1977, brother. Hey. Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Huh. I hope that was uh, the right the right way to handle it. Oh god, the 
That is so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. How far can we go, dude? So ominous. That's weird. That's actually really weird. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. It's an ant NATO. <laughs> it does look like that too. <laughs> I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. Well, give me the and details! Everything. Come on, lady, let's go! Okay, so there's Frank. Who's Frank? Nathan and then David Madison. Madsen. I don't really care about David Madsen, but I want to know more about Nathan. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. <laughs> Frank is a drug dealer who you tried to shoot. That's right. Hi. Well, Max. Oh, uh, her. I think it's all connected to Rachel. I want to see what happens. Parents. A lot of things in Arcadia Bay are connected to Rachel. Really? Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I saw him today, looking more jumpy than usual. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe. Too late for me to... I'm just... Could be. Mm, I don't like that one. The first one was like the best one that I got out of him so far, between the two. Hi. How are you? Let's see what we get from this one. Max. I oh, heard. Sad week we'll go with. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. I think Joyce's husband, David, has something to do with all this. He's an uptight ass, but I think he just wants something to do. Like make life hell for me and his family? Sounds like you know a I just think... Maybe. Mm, this one's uh, better like than I the second one, but I feel like the first Chloe. one's the best choice. And you... Two. I'm just... Could be. I'm gonna go back in time and do the first one. I think that's the best way to do it. But I think we should tell her. She seemed to take the information like kind of well. Hi. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go with uh. Oh, her. Uh, Kate. And then uh, we'll do uh. I'm probably. Uh. Uh. 
Including. He also. Sounds. I just. Maybe. And then we'll tell the truth. And then we'll leave it there. Two. I, th I think that's the best way. We'll, we'll do this one. Could. I didn't know she was here, bro. That's kind of cool. <laughs> like she was tucked out of Dodge, dude. It's kind of hard to see from over here, you know? Doesn't look like there's anything else we can do here, though. Bro, looking at this back way alley kind of reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese, bro. Huh. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I'm guessing that's it, though. I think that's it now, right? Nathan's here, too? What the fuck? Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Uh-oh. We didn't try speaking to him yet. We know what happens to the other two, though. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry. But you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Really? We got juicy details, dude. Let's there go. she is. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad. All right, David Madsen, Weird Town. Uh, the only other thing was uh, Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Using his information without a Frank Nathan or officer, so it's a. There she is. I wonder what else we can find out. I'm glad. So we know about that. Sorry, gifted me a sub. Salute, salute. Yeah, yeah. He did today. He dropped a. He dropped a couple of dinos, man. It's pretty nice. Uh, David Madsen. Let's find out about I that. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. I thought that was valuable. Fish. Let's find out. I, I, I like I'm this. This is cool. Collecting all the information. Let's see. Weird Town doesn't matter right now. Kate Marsh will be the next one. I That's guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it.
Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Huh. A blood oath? That sounds weird. Monka W? <laughs> Rachel. Okay, so blood oath, Rachel and Frank. Let's do blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So, Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Huh. Huh. Yeah, this guy's spilling the beans, bro. Blood of Rachel and Frank. Uh, your father, drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Oh, there we go, dude. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh How do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. <clears throat> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Damn, I couldn't look at the thing there. Well, that works. We have the power! Wait, I didn't see her here earlier. Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Why are we always saving her ass, bro? I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. Let's I go. couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. If we do it in the road, get I think he'd get hit. Now I don't want him to get hit, peace. you know? But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. 
I don't want him to get ran over, bro. We ain't trying to kill dogs around here, you know what I'm saying? This ain't Walking Dead. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Hmm. You scope the area while I hack That would be so Frank cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. <clears throat> Frank? Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. You know why. Come on, bro. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. I think the dog he <laughs> likes his bone more. Pompadou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Zip, nada, nothing. I'm rotating counterclockwise this time. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. Major Hoochie. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download the porn. That's nasty. No more secrets. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. So Frank's into photography too, huh? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Huh. Two vents we can still open up. That's the main thing we gotta remember. How can somebody live like this? Could use a knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Got that Mike Myers knife too. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. I feel judged. No prize here. Whoa, what the I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Okay. Let's start with the one down here. This one looks more My ominous. blade will open any portal. Let's open up this one, maybe? No, no I didn't open. Damn. Just letting it soak. I know, right? Oh, man. Dude? Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, I ho uh, hope you read this before uh, first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch. I took it out on you and poor Pompadour. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Vakriti Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart. All right. Wow. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. <clears throat> I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. 
I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Chloe! Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Don't forget I saved your life, though. That's fucked up. Oh, she almost got hit. <clears throat> she almost got hit twice, bro. So I'm guessing there was a possibility where the doctor could have got killed? Oh, no. Feels bad, man. Chloe, you can't we saved keep another life. me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Language on you, young lady? I know, right, dude? She pissed right now. William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was... Nah, not With the time or place. That day, it was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. I had a feeling that by not backing her up, she was going to bring it up like that. But is this okay? Are we okay with this? I think we're okay with this. Damn. I hope that was the right choice, bro. Oh my god. What is happening now? She's not about to go back in time. She can go back in time through photos, bro? That's some shit. I can't even see. 
Use the A and D keys and left mouse right button until you find the sweet spot. Not too far. We went back in time. Ooh. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. So that's William. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hands, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in crates? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crates. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. Man, imagine if that happens, bro. I'd be making some big we, boy decisions. I'd be like, yo, we about to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it. Depends. I love William That's like true. he was in my own so family. I won't let him die today. Right. I like won't. You're the real cook here. Ooh, I don't know about that. Chloe's dude. just so damn happy and carefree. I'll let her know. And this is the last time, unless I change it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Oh boy. I know I've seen those pictures before. Oh boy. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. No, don't do it. Don't let it go through. Block him. Uh -oh. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that. What a mess we made. Shit, I remember those cool is. drawings That's I did with Chloe. Swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. It's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. To the Hmong one. That's a cool snow dough. It's the one that, what's the name had in her, uh... Aha! You... Oh, you see how, like, slowly time is, uh, moving forward? Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies what? and popcorn. And video games, bro. Pog. I know they never took that big vacation. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Obvious, but... It will have to do. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Rescue you know, I wonder if her changing the past affects the future to a point where we have a tornado. Delicious. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? 
That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? I don't think there's anything else I can do. Is there anything else I can do? Or we got too far. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. So it still happens. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Obvious, now but it will have to do. I don't know if there's anything else. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. Are Joyce loves William so much. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Hmm. Keys, please. So I, I don't see anything else I can do. I felt like that right there was the, like the last thing that that. Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. That's nice. I have to try. I have to. I, I was put here to use this power to save William. For Chloe. Much of the house. And no Chloe and Max want- I think I have to go further back than that. I guess? What, what do I have to do? Okay. Do you remember how many eggs? Draw this. It I feel like this is important. Like you're the real cook here. I am when your mom. Obvious, but it will have to do. I'll let her know that. Let's start with that. Score. Oh, maybe that's what we have to do. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there a shortly. mocha. Love you. See, I'm more of a frap guy myself, dude. You know, get that Excuse caramel me, frappuccino. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen. Extra caramel drizzle, you know what I'm saying? She don't caramel have frapp. many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. You were two five head for your own good? Bro, if he looks in there, that's going to be like Monka S, bro. It's like it was meant to be, you know what I'm saying? Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine. So now that we know that... You'll be grateful for that. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where am I? Wait, so how do we get this guy's stuff from his hands? That's the question. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen I don't know. Save Mart. She don't have many. I know I've seen those pictures before. For us to feast you are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. So, like, we stop him, right? Shit. 
shit. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no cl Okay, so if we backtrack enough... Do we have to go to before then? Hold on, let me see. Maybe, maybe we have to get the thing off of the thing, right? You'll be grateful. So like, awesome. so like, we go before that, right? I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. But it depends. That's true. So how let's write this down. I feel like we need to keep this here, so we're gonna do that. When your mom is away. Do that. We gotta hide it where we can hear it. It will have to do. Where would you not be able to hear it at? Can I go upstairs? Maybe Hello? in the refrigerator? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two No way that works. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you there's up. There's no way that works. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. <laughs> I feel like Love there's you. no way that works, dude. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many I bags I of delicious work. grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. If it works on my lap, bro, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say, dude. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. Okay, he pulls it out. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come. Ah, I didn't think so. Okay. No if that's the case, then we gotta figure out where else we can go. Uh, You'll be grateful for that. Yes. Give me a little bit more time. Where else can I put it at then? That's a cool snow dough. Oh. Hello? Is there a hey, honey. Cover that? That'd be Just lit. making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? There's no way that works either, in my opinion, bro. No, the I thing's still open. Groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. I don't know, dude. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> where else can You'll I put this at then, though? Someday. I mean, I could put it in there, but Shit, I don't feel like that's gonna keys? work. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Let's see. I wish we could speed up time so we could kind of skip to this. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I love the. Yeah, I knew this thing would. And no. I feel like I feel like none of that's gonna work there. Uh. You'll be grateful. Hello. Uh, hey, honey. 
Just making a fabulous that didn't breakfast work. with Chloe and Matt. No fucking way. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? That might work. Oh, I didn't know you had to get grocery. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. Watch the bus. Comes the bus gets into an accident and everybody dies. Plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Now, how Max, does that you impact being so us? Fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. We might have fucked up. It changed it. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. That gets changed. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Oh, she got a truck, too. Shit. I wonder what happens as a result of that, though, to be honest with you. I feel like... What if Chloe dies because she got the truck? I'm not paying $150 for a concert. I heard that the Vortex Guild parties are fine. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know, sorry, Mad is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Yeah, right? People in Oregon Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Okay. I'm cool with that. Oh, no. Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? So we did all to the future, dude. Oh shit, we opened up oh, Pandora's box. A bus driver now is what he is. Oh shit. Bro, we changed the world, dude. Monkey W. The question is, does the bubble happen at the... Well, we'll have to wait. Oh, yeah, the bubble's still happening, bro. You see that shit? That's a bad omen, right? Oh shit! We're killing everybody! I wonder what's gonna happen here.
This is all like the same house that uh, Chloe was in. I mean, maybe this is what it is now because William isn't dead, maybe? Maybe it's my, somebody else's house altogether. Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd As never well. see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Wow, she's gonna be looking like, like a whole different type of Chloe. Oh no, she got into a car accident. Oh fuck. Tip the hands, bro. Damn. Damn, we fucked some shit up, bro. No. They can't end it right there. They cannot end it right there, bro. Oh damn. So I'm guessing because because Will got her a truck, right? That truck she ended up getting into a car accident and that fucked her up. I'm calling it right now, dude. That had to have happened. I knew some boo was gonna happen, dude. Ah, they ended it right there, dude. That's so fucked. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so you stole the money. 52% actually didn't. Uh, I kind of feel a little guilty about that choice. I'm not going to lie. Okay, you kissed Chloe. 78% did. We all we all horny on the inside. That's what that means. Uh, you sided with David. 22% didn't. So I, I thought this these two choices were uh, definitely... Against the more my my like internal thought process because I think honestly I probably would have left the money because I think it's kind of fucked up. Um, Siding with David was a calculated decision that I normally wouldn't do if I was in that environment because like if I was thinking like as if I was actually in the place of uh, of Max I would have sided with Chloe. I think that makes sense right there too. Um, I didn't get the the dog hurts. So that's nice. I kept dogs uh, Frank's dog from getting harmed. Pog. And then Chloe has David's gun and Frank has David's gun. So that's the difference between the two there. So I guess that's that's kind of nice. We like Chloe having it. Um, Lisa is alive, which is nice. I'm amongst the 42% that knew how to do it. You helped Warren with an exam. 28% didn't uh, or did. The other 72% didn't. That's kind of fucked up. We're still on the Vortex Club list, and we didn't change the Vortex Club party list. Uh, we didn't erase the cop's message. That's interesting. I didn't even know that existed. Oh, shoot. Uh, we helped Alyssa. Uh, we warned the homeless woman about the thing, and 66% didn't. I think this is important. I think we did, did because she, maybe she'll be uh, safe when that bullshit happens, if we can't change the, the fate, you know? Uh, we didn't take a photo in the past. I thought I did. I guess I must have backed out in the past too much there. You left a mark on the fireplace. I did that on purpose to see if that would work, though, to be honest with you. Monka W, episode four, Dark Room.